Did you see this health headline? Bloop, right here. Apparently, metabolic syndrome increases your rate of cancer. So metabolic syndrome is like medical talk, like a term that we have given to a constellation of things. So like high blood pressure, low numbers of good cholesterol, high numbers of bad cholesterol, a larger circumference waist, diabetes, right? These, we, all of these things together we call metabolic syndrome. And for a long time we have been sort of researching metabolic syndrome in terms of how it relates to your risk of stroke, heart attack, things like that, right? Pretty clear in the evidence so far that like, if you have metabolic syndrome or a constellation of these, so you need like three of the five to have metabolic syndrome, your likelihood of stroke and heart attack go up. If you have metabolic syndrome, potentially increases your rate of cancers. Some of them by like four and five times more than someone who does not have metabolic syndrome. So basically what these researchers did in China, and it was a lot of people, it was like 44,000 people. So a big study and they did it over a long time, like 10, 12 years. So they took people who had all five characteristics of metabolic syndrome, followed them for years. And then what they found out was like after nine years of following them in the study, that the people who had all five of those conditions and had them the worst had a 30% increase in like all types of cancer. How do we think that, we don't know this for a fact, right? This is all like associative, it's associated, not causative, but probably like high levels of chronic inflammation triggers this process that turns normal cells in our body into cancer cells faster than if you were not chronically inflamed. That's the thought process anyway. It's hard to extrapolate this to everybody because the study was done on all of these people in one city in China. Uh, and the median age was 49. So you can't necessarily be like, well, okay, all these people in China who live in the same city who are more or less the same age or have an average age of 49 apply to somebody who lives in Bangladesh who's 23, who might have metabolic syndrome, right? Or somebody who lives in Mozambique who is 87. Like, you can't pull it across to everybody, but there are some good things about this study in terms of the size of it and how long they monitored these people. Now, it wasn't all types of cancer were all 30% more likely, like endometrial cancer was four and a half times more likely, kidney cancer was a lot more, versus like breast cancer was twice as likely. Um, so this is just really interesting. You know, I know there's a lot of conversation going on right now about like Ozempic and these GLP-1 agonists and terzepatide and semeglutide and all that stuff. I do stand firmly on that people who are in fat bodies, like that's kind of how I identify, like I have a, a big body, I have a body that carries extra fat. We're not all necessarily inherently unhealthy people, but having excess adipose tissue and being obese in some people can lead to these other constellations of symptoms like metabolic syndrome, which can lead to health problems for people. I think it's really interesting to take note of this and just overall in terms of our health, in terms of heart disease, which is actually the number one killer of everybody on earth, like it would be great if we all tried to do what we could to be as healthy as possible. And while the cholesterol myth is kind of a thing, we probably need to get our cholesterols in check in general. We should definitely get our blood pressure in check. I cannot tell you the number of young people, young, like under 50, who I see in my emergency department come in, have blood pressure through the roof, and they're like having strokes and heart attacks left and right. We need to get that blood pressure under check. Waist circumference is a predictor of some other diseases. You know, I work to get my waist circumference down as well because of these things. So it's an interesting and nuanced conversation, but I'm, I'm really excited to see more of this research and see if this metabolic syndrome, chronic inflammation, how it plays out in terms of how it's impacting rates of cancer across the world and in other populations. I definitely wanna know what y'all think as well. Um, I know some of you are watching this probably actually like read the whole research study. I haven't read the whole study yet, um, but I definitely wanna know what y'all think. Hit me up in the comments, cause this one's wild.